satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. One last morbid question before we get into the final segment of the podcast, which is more lifestyle related. The morbid question is when you hang someone, a lot of people assume that they die because of suffocation, but I think the truth is they die because the medulla oblongata breaks. Is that correct? Yeah, the medulla oblongata is closely associated with the ability to breathe as well. So both these things happen simultaneously where your neck actually snaps the medulla oblongata is the highest part beyond the spinal cord up there where the respiratory center is also involved. That's why I said that cervical spine C3, C4, C5, that is cervical 3, 4, 5, keep the diaphragm alive. The diaphragm is our muscle here. So when C3, C4, C5 or any injury above that happens, your breathing center gets affected. Any injury above that means? C1, C2, where, occiput, where, C1. Right, is, at the, right at the nape of the neck, right at the top, uh, where the skull becomes the neck. Ah, okay. Right there. Okay. When that snaps, your respiratory center's ability to breathe gets challenged. You're right. But that snap causes all these things, physical damage to the spinal cord itself, as well as your breathing centers. You're right. The person who gets hanged, what are they going through? Because I would also assume that they die in one shot. I believe they do. There's no way to know that. Of Absolutely. course. Have you ever seen videos of someone getting hanged? No. Fortunately not. No. Neither have I. But I've seen movies in which they show it. And they usually show the legs like quivering. Yeah. Yeah. Why would the legs quiver? Well, I can't give you a, a rational answer to it, but yes, uh, there is something called as a response of the part beyond the area of damage where messages from below are coming to the point of damage and going back rather than reaching the brain. There is a reflex by which that area quivers and then dies. If you were to imagine even experiments that were done in colleges or schools where uh, we had dissection of uh, certain cockroaches or dissection of earthworms or lizards. And if you cut off a particular part, that part beyond it would quiver for a moment and then die. Because the messages which are coming, rather than reach the head office, Return from that point itself. Electricity bounces Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Because actually messages are electricity. Absolutely. You've operated up there? Yes, C1. I have. Yes, I have. You feel more nervous when you're operating up there? No, I don't feel nervous, but I'll be very frank. I always enter a surgery feeling vulnerable. I always enter my surgery uh, having fear of the unknown to a certain extent. And I strongly believe that my performance depends on my being vulnerable rather than being overconfident. And that's, that's where I feel that we surgeons are also like the sportsmen. Yeah, I was about to When say. Virat or Tendulkar go into bat, they want to get that first run. They're not thinking of the century. That's exactly how we go in. We go in believing that we are trying to do good to this human being who has put their life in our hands. Hence, we are responsible for them, but we are still vulnerable. And that vulnerability is actually our strength. It's also student mentality for life. Yeah. The best professionals have that. We are. We and are seekers. We are learners. Absolutely. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip. 